Tonight, the family of a Camden County teenager is asking for your help. The 14 year old got pinned, hit by a car and was pinned between that car and a golf cart. That crash left him with a broken back and two broken legs. First Coast News reporter Nick Perot spoke with that teenager's father tonight. So Nick, what can we do to help? Well, Anthony Mark Lang, father of Camden Lang, says he's had plenty of people reach out to him over the last several weeks, willing to move anything around the house, to pick something up for the family if they need to, saying that really hasn't been an issue. What they need now is for those out there in the community, anybody with building supplies, anyone that can help them put a wheelchair accessible ramp in the home, as well as making their bathroom. Now on the first floor, he's using the spare bedroom instead of his upstairs bedroom as, as his bedroom coming up and saying this is something that he just hopes the community will come together and this will be a big help for the family. Yeah, this is the first time I've been away from the hospital in about two weeks. There are moments in life that can rock you. He may have a year of recovery ahead of him. We're not sure when he'll be able to try to think about stairs, but it won't be anytime soon. Camden Lang's moment comes at just 14. The teenager just woke up from a coma. Now he's awaiting surgery for two broken legs and his back. After a car pinned him between the front bumper and the golf cart he was pushing on the side of the road two weeks ago. <laughs> Though he is weeks away from coming home, family, friends, and church volunteers are already making room. But we don't have paint to paint with, and we don't have drywall to be hung up, and we don't have two by fours to frame. His family questions how they're going to pay for their son's new reality and are asking you in the community to help with the finances. We've got this theme we've agreed on that uh, we're going to try to win the day. Starting to clean this room, a win for dad. This phone call, a win for Camden. The huge Ole Miss fan got a call from Ole Miss head coach Matt Luke himself. Even though it's small steps, uh, it's steps. Steps to make sure when Camden is ready to make his next step home, he'll be Camden strong with a community of support behind him. Maybe it's something that'll generate a mindset where we're constantly aware that uh, all around us people constantly have needs and we're able to feel with them, have empathy with them, and, and put ourselves into action. And back out here live, if you'd like to help out the family, they have created a Venmo account as well as a GoFundMe account in the next few days. They plan on bringing that up. Keep it right here on FirstCoastNews.com for the very latest on that. Reporting live in Jacksonville tonight, Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.